Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the, the um the weakest dummies from the Sonic Battlegrounds. You guys know if you go or generally a Battlegrounds game, I'm assuming. You guys know how when you go to the arena like area, there are dummies sitting there, they don't fight back or anything. You just you you hit them and then you see you can see their health above their head. And when you die, another one respawns it takes its place and stuff. I'm gonna pretty much show you guys how to move how to make that and stuff. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so first and first, of course, you're going to need an NPC. Let's click Avatar and then Rig Builder. Big build whatever type of rig you want. It literally doesn't matter. So let's click Black Avatar. I'm gonna click Black Avatar, I should say, right? And then here's my rig. You guys can customize it, put on clothes or whatnot, whatever you want. I'm going to change the name. You can either change the name or the humanoid display name, whichever is your preference. So I'm going to change the name to uh, what is it? Weakest Dummy. That's what it's called. I'm gonna change this to Weakest Dummy, right? And then I'm going to insert a billboard GUI into the head. This is so that we can see the health above their head. So we're going to insert a billboard GUI. And then I'm going to name this health GUI. You could also call it, health, well, it's not really health bar because a bar, yes, yeah, not a bar. So we really always go with health GUI. Then we need to, of course, set some properties. So first things first, let's go down here to size, right? You want to change the size to five comma zero. Then you went for X, then for Y, which is two comma zero, right? Then for the stud offset right here, you want Y to be four. So it's above the, so it's above their head. You guys can see like that. It's above their head and as well as above their name, right? And then you would insert a text label. Insert a text label into the health GUI, name it health text label, right? Now, as for the properties, you're going to set the size. You're going to say one comma zero, uh, comma one comma zero, right? So one zero one zero, right? Then, then you're going to of course scale the text, bold it, make it rich text, scale it, and then by default you're just going to put one hundred percent. That's going to be it by default, right? You can change the font to whatever you please if you want, of course. I'm just going to change it just generally. I honestly just want to. So I'm going to change it, make it look, make it look a little nice. You feel what I'm saying? right and then we're going to make the background color equal to one so it's just transparent actually now i think about it oh no, no no man i see that line but anyway yeah so we have finished making the health making the health gui so once you're done here you're going to duplicate this dummy you can select it press Control plus d or home and click duplicate it duplicate while it is um while you, you have it selected then you're going to throw your clone into server storage right and then you're going to go ahead and insert a server script into server script service. And then you're going to name that script dummy script. We don't even need to put server or local in parentheses, parentheses and we don't need a remote of it because we're only using one script. So we're gonna we're gonna use three variables. First, we're gonna get the debris service. So let's say local DS is equal to game, get service, debris. Then I'm going to get the weakest dummy. But remember what we have in server storage. So local weakest dummy is equal to game that server storage wait for child week is dummy then i'm going to get then i'm going to get the dummy spawn so i'm gonna say local dummy spawn i actually forgot to tell you guys about this we need to create a spawn you guys know in, in the strongest battlegrounds how the dummies they don't spawn at the same place player spawn like you know how player spawn on the out of the arena while npcs well i think a play it is possible for a player to spawn in the arena but usually it's outside while the npcs always spawn inside the arena so you want to of course create your own custom spawn you can duplicate like you know the spawn insert a spawn whatever so control d and then of course you want to change some things first things first change it to change the name to dummy spawn and then you want to set the um under the team section i'm mean, sorry yeah team section you want to uncheck neutral this is so that uh players cannot spawn here right it would be it would only spawn players here if like their team color is the same and stuff now obviously that doesn't really matter because there are no teams in the strongest battleground or a battlegrounds game there are no teams and stuff so it the only people that have spawn here is people set is people that people that are set to spawn here via a script, which is what we're gonna do. And then of course, you're going to change the background color just so we can differ differentiate between the um, the two spawns, right? So I'm gonna say workspace, wait for child, and I'm gonna say uh, dummy spawn, right? Now to get into the function, this may be a little weird. So I'm gonna say function dummy, right? Into, I was going to say dummy respawn or respawn dummy, but then it also is a health. It also updates the player's health. I mean, the dummy's health. So I was like, just call it dummy, right? Then you're going to call the function on the outside. I know it doesn't really make sense, but I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain at the end. So first things first, we're going to use a for loop. We're going to say for i comma v in pairs workspace get children. Enter. You're going to say if v dot name 
is equal to quotation marks weakest dummy enter you're going to set up two functions you're going to say v dot humanoid dot health changed next function close parentheses enter and then you're going to say v dot head dot health i was about that wrong health gy dot health text label oh, sorry that text is equal to v dot humanoid dot health dot 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 quotation marks in the percentage sign right then we're going to set up the other function so put a space in between now for the second function we're going to say v dot humanoid dot died connect function this is of course when the mc dies so we need them to respawn so i'm going to create a variable local dummy clone is equal to weakest dummy clone then i'm going to say dummy clone pivot to uh dummy spawn dot c frame enter and then i'm going to say dummy clone dot parent is equal to workspace and then i'm going to say ds add item dummy not dummy spawn may should definitely don't dummy spawn dummy clone three seconds you guys can choose however long you want it to be before the like you know the body parts um are destroyed of the like you know the dead mdc and then you're going to call the dummy function once again so to explain what's going on this is a function functions like these type of functions only run i guess you could call these local functions these functions will only run when they're called on right hence why we have this here you can't put it up here because because this is kind of like making a variable like this is kind of, this is kind of like essentially making a variable you can't call a function that like like you guys know how like how do i explain this okay so a function it's kind of like how we read from left to right it goes from top to bottom one two three four five right so i can't call for a function that i created on oh okay maybe, maybe i might have lied i might have lied okay never mind <laughs> forget what i said forget what i said i thought i thought we couldn't never mind okay so instead just put them up here never mind i was gonna damn i was dead i was gonna just go on the whole thing but anyway so the reason why i'm calling this is because it's a function it needs to be called on right so we need to we need to make sure it does it the first time all we need to do is just call it once all we need to do is call it once and then it'll create an, an infinite loop right because you guys see whenever an, whenever an npc dies it's going to call the function again so it's going to get all of the dummies inside of the workspace so pretty much the new dummy that respawns it's going to kill that's why it's essential that you put this at the end of the code like after the the new uh dummy has spawned so it's going to get them and then it's going to uh do the same thing let's go ahead let's test it and then yeah we're good to go okay wait oh no i was right okay okay yeah yeah. yeah. see i know i wasn't tripping i thought it was gonna have i swear that it was gonna have red lines but see okay so i was right i was i was like i'm like I swear i'm not tripping i was like i swear i'm not tripping like you can't do that you can call a function before you yeah but anyway like i was saying yeah you can't call something like at this point at line at line five like before like okay so right here right at line five we haven't created the function so we're pretty much trying to call on something that hasn't even been created yet so it's like just doesn't make sense that script but anyway okay so we have our npc here let me go ahead and change its health so if i go ahead and go to humanoid and i change its health if i set it to 50 you guys are going to see the text label it updates now if i set it to zero it's going to of course die you guys see the new npc over there and then it... okay i must oh i still did oh okay okay i actually made a mistake i actually made a mistake not dummy clone sorry v v it's supposed to be right here i just realized we would have been destroying the new we would have been destroying the new clone okay that's my fault but yeah so make sure you change that definitely make sure you change that so yeah so we get dummy um so like i was saying uh if we set a health equal to zero boom you guys see the new npc spawns then after a minute boom or not a minute not a little bit a minute, three seconds the new one spawns then just to just double check this is why i started double checking just in case <laughs> because man oh man so boom okay you guys see everything works bam there's no npc literally spotted spotted up like right where he's standing but anyway as always if you guys want to access any of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber links to either one of those options can be found in the description thank you to all my current channel members and discord subscribers who have been renewing i see a lot of y'all been renewing i really do appreciate it and stuff thank you for all the love and support i'm gonna show on the channel we're about halfway to four thousand subscribers and stuff um i got a special video dropping this sunday because it's my birthday so 
expect a special video dropping. I got y'all. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.